welcome back everyone. So the next one is the feature files. So we want to create that under our features. Right click, click on add, click on new item. And as like I said, spare flow, make sure it's there. If it's not there, then you've not actually done this step two properly. So then let's say we're doing registration. So I will just change the registration so that is done and click add so you can see that is created for me so and now the next step is for me to type my feature so you just Place this ones in order. I'm going to one minute. All right, so I'll just I've got that copied, so I'm going to paste that. So this is what I have right now. So that's fine. So based on that, that's my feature file created. So the next one is my step definition. We are almost there right now. My step definition, and I'll quickly say, so I've got one step, one way to do that, generate step definition. That is one way. So I can select the one I want. So then click on step generate. I can as well click on copy. We look at this later. So because you can click on copy method, so when you click on copy methods, you would now go to your step definition and you create your class by yourself and you copy, you dump what you copy into that class. So we we'll look into that step later. And the same way also, you could say go to step definition. So as you can see, that would generate one um, step for you. As you can see, this is for the, uh, because I right click on the first name one. So, and you can copy this particular code snippet by saying yes. And then if you already have a step on um, your class created in the step definition, you just dump it there. So, and this step also, the one I just show you right now is also good when you are actually, you know, having, adding to your step, basically. You don't want to be creating new, uh, step um, definition every time. So you would need to double click and copy that particular step and then dump it inside. So I will do that right now. For instance, let me, to comment, I want to remove this particular line. So it's basically like I've commented this line out right now. So if I say generate step, that line is not going to be generated. So let's say I say generate step. So now I can generate, you can see the last, the first name, or which one did I remove? The last name is not here. So let's say now I do not want to do this, the sign of, I want to leave that one out for now. I can generate my step. So as I've said, okay, I've generated my step. I said, don't just click on sign on, on save. For instance, now if I click on save, it's going to, you think it will save, yeah. It should go into my step and save into my step definition and everything. So be careful where you save it to. And so what I would advise is you navigate to where your step definition folder is, and then you would ask it to save there. So I'll go into where my step definition folder is. So that is my step definition. and. Exactly. So, and I want my registration steps to be at this place. So, and if I click on save, oh, so it's not yet saved, but I think let's see what that is. Okay. 
Okay, this is another common issue that normally happen. So you see this blue, uh, something is wrong. How can I actually make sure because I'm expecting to be white and it's still showing blue. So what happens like your step and your, your step definition and your feature well, that that's it, not actually communicating. They are not binding together. So what I would say is like try to save it again. If it doesn't save, close your Visual Studio sometime, open it again. Sometimes it does work like that. So, but I will try to just make a change on this one. So like comment this one out and save. So this is saved. Now let's go back. As you can see, boom, it's done. So more, sometimes it does happen as I think. So as you can see now, I did not, this is the purple because I selected that one out. So what I'm going to do now is to update that one. Instead of saying generate for that particular one, okay, I can as well do that. Let me just do this too. So this is another way to generate your step. Basically, right click, and if you say generate step, but right now I don't want to generate, I want to generate only one also. And same, I don't want to say generate because if I click on generate now, it's going to override what I have done. So you shouldn't do that because this in particular file is going to be overridden with the next step, which only have one step. So don't do that again. You can only use that particular generate if you are creating a new step, def um, step definition. If you want to update the step definition that was there before, that is not the right way. So I, I can cancel that one. I would show you what you need to do. So let's say I'm only going to um, generate this one, only the, the first one. So I just say copy, right? Copy method to clipboard. It's already copied for me. So what I need to do, I go into my step definition. Then I would go into, after your class, there's a brace. Then put a um, enter button and paste what you copied. And that is it. So then save it. Once it's saved, you go back to your feature file. So you can see that one is, is gone. So it's already saved. So the next one is this one now. I'm going to show you another. This is the third way that you can actually do that. So you can right click on the line and you can say go to definition or you press F to F. Basically, when you do that, because there's no binding yet, it's going to you know, try an error for you. And then it's going to say, do you want to create this particular binding skeleton? So yeah, you say yes, and you copy that into your clipboard. So when you, once that is copied, you go to your step definition. You do the same thing after your class and also the braces, put a enter board, a space, and paste by right click, and you can paste that on that way. So, and that's it, it's pasted. And then save it. If you don't save it, it's not going to reflect in your feature file. As you can see, this is the purple. Or if I now save it now, so it's going to write. So that's you generating your step definition. I've, show you, I've showed you three ways to do that. So the last now is basically running your test. So now for you to see, I don't have my test explorer. So what I need to do is to go into view and click on test explorer. So the test explorer is displayed for me. So now but there's no test. What I need to do now is to right click and say clean, clean my solution, then build it. If everything works, I should see a test here for this particular registration. There, that's what I'm expecting. And that, this is my test, basically. So now, that test is that one. So basically, this is my test. Well, 
if I run it right now, it's going to fail because uh, there's some. Okay, so as you can see, it's already gone. So it's yeah. So you can see it's been skipped because. So if I go into my step definition, how do I go into my step definition? There are two ways. You can right click and say go to the step definition. That is the code behind this particular step. So each of these steps, they've got a code behind them. So if you look into this one, right click and go into go to step definition, that is the code for that particular step. So basically, what we're going to do next is to now write the code to navigate to the site. So for this now, so if you also want to click on registration um, button, you go into that. And at this point, instead of this step now, you write the code to go into, to click on register button. You will do that for all the steps. So enter first name, you go into the step, and this is the method. Instead of this particular um, pending scenario, we would write a step to to enter first name. The same way also for password. I'm just I'm just removing it. You don't you won't remove it. So let's assume that we've written something. So let's say console dot right line. Okay. This is not what you're going to write, but it's just an example password. So this is let's say this is another code confirm password. My first name. This is click registration. Click registration. So we just replace basically instead of our code that we should have written, so we just put like a printing command just to print you know, those texts. So if you now run, let's try to run our test again. And to run your test, you just need to right click on that feature and you click on run. And that should run your test for you. So it's not going to do anything on, on just display that line so basically so let's see what it does okay let's see some issues let's see. okay let's try to run it again clean And save, let's save it, everything. Okay. Let's run it now. Okay. Saying is this skipped? Why is this skipped? Okay, there's still some pending stuff like this one. So you can remove this one. So this one is locked in. Okay, is there any other one? Okay, cool. Okay. 
it's very expensive now. So it's, it shows greens because you're already able to finish it. So, and you can open the output. As you can see, this is what it does. So, go to that, navigate, and as you can see, this is what it's typing. I go to websites, then click on web, click on, so as you can see, this is our, uh, what I actually to, to write, basically, password, confirm password. This is everything in our um, console right line that is doing, and that's it. So, yeah, that is everything for tonight. What you have in your feature file is basically English, the steps that you are going to, to take to perform your tests. Then in your step definition, you have the code, which is the uh, code for that particular step. So c -sharp code that translates that step into machine language. Then also you have your page objects in the folder, in the folder structure, you have your page objects, which basically uh, elements on your page or application that you are testing. Okay.